Hey, what's up? Kalen here. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about a strategy around um, getting getting business from your clients around B two B stuff. So I had a, did a great live stream interview with my buddy Tom today. They've done a lot of uh, a lot of B two B work, B two B commerce over the past uh, several years or so. And um, one of the points that he made was that. Um, the biggest, probably the biggest issue around, you know, landing B2B projects is really kind of building consensus within, uh, the client, um, organization. Uh, so, you know, B2B projects tend to be larger companies and more, you know, companies with more moving parts. You've got a bunch of different sales reps that have, you know, concerns around and their incentives uh, changing and things like that. You've got, um, you know, just probably just more bigger, more complicated um, companies than your, you know, typical, you know, B2C um, e-commerce play. And so, um, you know, he was saying that, you know, that's sort of the, one of the big challenges is kind of just building consensus. And one of the ways, um, one of the ways, and, and also just sort of really understanding their needs, um, again, just more more of a complicated scenario than typical you know, throwing up a website. So like one of his suggestions, which I thought was great, was like go on site with the client, get to know their needs, uh, get to understand their organization. Um, you know, he gave an example with a client of theirs that sold construction parts and like they were like, well, let's build a mo mobile app for the you know people to reorder parts. Um, and then when they were there kind of on the ground, what they saw was that like the construction workers never had their phones with them. They had these old Nokia phones because they were dust resistant and things like that. So just like realizing like y it would be better to have a call center that they could use over those old Nokia phones rather than um, a mobile app. And so um, things like that, like get in there, talk to the sales reps, understand their concerns, um, and that's going to help you to build consensus. So a lot of people... You know, there's this huge wave of, of B2B commerce business coming coming our way in this space. And, um, you know, I think a lot of people are trying to figure out how to prepare for that. Um, if you haven't yet done uh, B2B work, you're maybe thinking about how, how to land that business. And um, I thought that was a really smart strategy of just like, hey, maybe, maybe you have a relationship with a client. Um, that has done some work with you. And then there's some larger things to look at uh, because like sort of like, I guess another one of the key takeaways is it, from the interview with Tom was like, um, when you talk about B2B, you really are talking about digital transformation, which is sort of a, buzz, a, a little bit of a buzzword. Um, but you really are like your trans, you know, these are businesses that, you know, are taking orders over the phone on pen and paper with sales reps, you know, taking orders manually. And they've been doing that for years or decades, right? And they're, they're bigger companies, they're man, maybe they're manufacturing something or wholesaling. So they have, you know, they're not like a small online pure play e-commerce team. Like they have, um, lots of different types of employees, lots of different moving parts, um, so it's really, it's not just like, Hey, can we put up a B2B website for you? It's really is this sort of digital transformation of the whole organization. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be hard, you know, even just to build consensus within the client's team, you know? So I, I think the idea of like, Hey, let me come on site. Let me learn about, um, you know, how can, how we can help fit things into your organization. Um, and, and maybe you offer to do that for free and you just, you come up with some great suggestions. You really get to know some of their different needs. Um, and, uh, I think that would be a smart approach, a smart way to start to, you know, then you get your couple of these B2B projects under your belt. You start, you start to get more comfortable. And then as this wave of business is coming our way, you're able to kind of pick up more of it. So, yeah, so I thought that was a, a smart approach. Uh, let me know what you think. Questions or comments in the comments section would appreciate it. It would be great to hear from you. Uh, and uh, thanks so much for watching.